Now, if you're like me, you'll love a PowerPoint presentation, but the truth is they take so long to create, particularly if you're copying analysis from Excel into PowerPoint. The good news is we can do it at the click of a button with Excel VBA. But just before we get started, I'm Chris Mortimer. I'm an Excel content creator, real world consultant and lecturer. And this channel exists to move you from Excel struggle to Excel clarity and control. And if you like what we do here at Tiger, we've got our Excel 30 day analyst complete Excel course. It's free right here on YouTube. We're going to convert some Excel analysis into a PowerPoint presentation at the click of a button. There's six steps to work through. Let's go. So the first step is to prepare the data. Let's take a look at the Excel file. You can see the data that I want to analyze here. We've got five video titles in the row headers here. And then we've got things we're interested in, the views, the likes and the comments this year. You can see the data for each video here. Very simple. What we're trying to do is create or convert each row in this table to a PowerPoint slide. So it would look something like this. I want to know the video title. I want to have some kind of visual here, a chart comparing to the average. And I want to have what I'll call a mini report, which is a text summary of the analysis. Now, these things we're going to do in Excel. Data analysis isn't the subject for this video, but we've got some great videos from beginner level in the video description below. But I would point out one thing. We want what we call dynamic quality here. So I've got a single input cell. I can choose my video hit and I can see the analysis updating, the data coming through specific to that video. That's important because it's gonna make all the magic happen later. Okay, so the next step is to prepare the PowerPoint template. I'm gonna jump into PowerPoint for this. So I recommend you pre-prepare all of the slides that you need in your report. Yes, it would be possible with Excel VBA to create those slides as you go along, but I find that quite complicated. So I'm assuming you know the basic structure of your presentation. My presentation, I want a cover slide, and then I'm gonna create analysis for three of the five videos in our data set. So I've got four slides total. You could have 40, any number of slides. What are we gonna do? We're gonna set up the cover page. We're not gonna do anything with that. So just get that looking good. And then for each slide in the main body of the presentation, you can put your generic presentation content in there. So I want a title, I want a subtitle, and I want my company logo. And then I want specific things for this analysis. Now for the chart, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need a placeholder for the chart, but for our mini report, we want a placeholder text box in there. So I've created a text box. I've done some formatting and on, on the other slides, you know, I've put some text in there to check that that is looking good. So these slides are about ready, but there's one more thing to do while we're in PowerPoint. Just make sure you're aware of the selection pane, the selection pane in PowerPoint. So if you go to home, editing, select and selection pane. I find this useful when I'm using PowerPoint normally, but it's essential when we're using Excel VBA because Excel VBA needs to know the names of these shapes when it's doing that data transfer. So text box one in particular, that's where we want to put our mini, mini reports and so make sure you've got the selection pane open. Okay, so the next step is to get Excel to see PowerPoint so the two can start working together. For this step, let's get into the Excel file, into the VBA editor. If you've never used VBA before, I've put our best beginner videos in the video description below. So there's a specific thing that we have to do in the VBA editor if we're working with PowerPoint. You've got to go to tools at the top and then references and you've got to make sure the Microsoft PowerPoint object library is ticked here. Now on your list, it might be in alphabetical order, it will be further down here, but you need the Microsoft PowerPoint object library ticked. Go ahead and do that. At this point, it's probably good to close and open all the files just to make sure everything is okay in the background. So once you've done that, we can then proceed with our file identification stage here. So the first two macros in the VBA editor, they're going to be involved at, these st at this stage. I'm not going to talk through them in detail in this video. As I said, we've got many other VBA videos uh, on the channel. So in the download file, we've got this identify button. Just go ahead, click that button and it says PowerPoint presentation identified. That means that Excel is now seeing PowerPoint and you're ready to move on to the next step. But if you're interested in how this is working, well, it's actually taking 
whatever you put into this cell here, you've got to put the name of the PowerPoint presentation in this cell. And then Excel is going to use that cell, the text in that cell to go and find the PowerPoint presentation. So if I've got the spelling wrong, we're going to get a message box uh, to that effect. I can then go ahead and correct the spelling and then Excel should successfully identify the PowerPoint file. Now, if you have any problems at this stage, you might need or might not need the file extension at the end there. So now we've got Excel and PowerPoint talking to each other. Can we transfer something from Excel and display it in PowerPoint? What are we going to try to do? Well, back into my PowerPoint presentation, I'm on the second slide in the presentation and I want to put something into this text box here. So using the selection pane here, I'm going to go home, editing, and then select and selection pane once more. I can see the name of this object is text box one. So I can use text box one to reference that object in the VBA editor. Then I've got to think about the slide number. Now here we're using counter to communicate that slide number. So we're using a variable. Why are we doing that? That's going to make the magic happen, happen later. It's going to populate all of the slides you want it to populate. So for this example, I'm going to change the value of that counter variable to two. What's that going to do? It's, it's going to mean that the VBA editor is going to work with the second slide in the presentation and it's going to work with the object with the shape which is called text box one. Now, what's going to go in there? Well, we've got an A equals B concept where the first half uh, of this phrase before the equal sign is going to take on the value of whatever is in the second half here. So I can see it says sheets chart range D25 here. So I'm going to go back to the Excel file and what's in D25. Well, that's where we've got our mini report. So once I run this routine, we'd expect the contents of this LR mini report to appear in the Excel file. Let's go ahead. I've clicked in the routine, the cursor's flashing. I'm going to click play and there's no errors. That's always a good sign. Then going to the presentation, I can see that the text has appeared there. So that's how to transfer data from Excel into a text box in PowerPoint. Things definitely getting exciting. Now can we copy a chart from Excel into PowerPoint? Let's get back into the VBA editor. And the macro we need is copy chart image to PPT. Now this is going to make the magic happen. But first, let's remind ourselves what's going on in Excel because it's important to understand that we're doing all of the analytical legwork here. When I change the value in this cell, this visual is updating and this beautiful chart is what we're looking to copy across into the VBA editor. This is the code to do it. Now, it's worth mentioning uh, the code I use here works with the most up-to-date version of Office. If you've got an older version of Office, then you might need to use this line of code here. I've also included that uh, in the VBA editor if you need it. So back to PowerPoint here, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to copy our chart onto the second slide in the presentation. You can see the space on the slide uh, is waiting for us here in our pre-prepared uh, template. So there's one thing we need to do to this code. Once again, we just need to delete this inverted comma. That's going to make this line of code active. It's going to assign the value of two to the counter variable. What's that going to do? It's going to mean that the code is going to work with the second slide in the presentation. So everything seems OK. I'm going to click into this macro. I can see my cursor flashing there. I'm going to hit the play button here and I can see our chart appearing in the PowerPoint presentation. If that's not a punch the air moment, guys, come on, make sure you punch the air. But there's more. But there's more, guys, because there's some more code in this macro that you might be interested in. This line of code is going to delete any unwanted charts. So you can see shapes dot count more than four. So if you've got five, six, seven, eight shapes, if you've got more charts there, then it will delete them for you. If you have more shapes uh, on your slide, so more text boxes, you know, whatever it might be, you might want to increase this number here. Secondly, this code is to do with positioning. So you might have just seen when we copied the chart in, it flashed a bit and it resized and it repositioned itself. So you can control here the dot top, the dot left properties, that's the vertical and the horizontal position respectively, and the height and the width of the chart to optimize the appearance of your PowerPoint presentation. And only now are we ready to integrate a super powerful concept from computer programming 
which is a loop. I love loops in Excel VBA. If you've never seen them before, I'll put a beginner video in the video description below. So back into the VBA editor, we're interested in our final macro, which is create presentation. Now, before we do anything, you've got to remember to do something or you're going to get stuck in a loop. So let's go ahead and just comment out comment out uh, this line of code here, which is counter equals two, and this line of code here, which is counter equals two. Here we're in the change text box to PPT macro. Why is that important? Because now we need that counter variable, which is a module level variable declared at the top of the module. We need that variable to increment. We need it to increase by one each time we go through this loop. Why? because that means we're going to move on to the next slide in the presentation. Yes, it's a loop and a counting variable like fish and chips work together absolutely beautifully in VBA to make the magic happen. So before you try this loop, go ahead and check these numbers are, are accurate for you. So four counter equals two to four. Two is my start slide that I want to tweak, that I want to copy stuff into, and four is my end slide. Then what's going to happen? Well, firstly, something's going to happen in Excel. We're going to look at that in a second. Then we're going to call our macro to copy in the text box. We're going to call our macro to copy in the chart image. We've looked at those. What is this line, line of code going to do? Uh, let's go into the Excel, Excel file, and it's what I've been doing through this demonstration, really. We're changing our input cell and as we said, the way to do it is to do the analysis in Excel. That's what the code is going to do for us. It's going to change the video title. The analysis is going to update because it's all linked. It's all dy dynamic. We can then copy in the chart, copy in the text box, get that beautiful presentation. That's what we're hoping is going to happen anyway. And I'll tell you a secret. I just tried to do this and I got stuck in a loop. If that's happened to you, hold down the escape key. Hold down the escape key on the keyboard. That should allow you the in to interrupt the code and uh, get out of it. So we've got PowerPoint ready. I'm going to get into the VBA editor, click into this routine. I can see the cursor is in there. Going to hit the play button. How are we going to do? Got to identify our PowerPoint, uh, our PowerPoint presentation first. We click the identify button uh, to do that. Let me bring PowerPoint back into our shot quickly, followed by the VBA editor. Click into this routine, hit the play button. Hopefully now, the magic is going to happen. I can see the charts have come in. We've created three slides, three good looking slides with a nice visual and a nice uh, qualitative, a nice text report too at the click of a button. Time to punch the ad. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'll get back to you there. The next video to watch is right here.